Uh, hello, welcome. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to very quickly draw an isometric drawing of a finger joint which looks like this. It has these interlocking teeth. and When glued together, that, they give it real strength. Um, this isometric technique uses this paper which has uh, vertical lines going up and down and diagonal lines like that, but no horizontal lines. No horizontal. Right, so watch carefully as I replicate this and then you're going to repeat uh, for yourself. So in the middle of the page, um, using a ruler, find a vertical line and you're going to go down about six centimeters, which is 60 millimeters. So it will look like that. Then at the bottom, you're going to do two diagonal lines. Again, I'm finding a diagonal, staying on it and I'm using a ruler. It doesn't matter how long these are. So I've got like a big arrow there. Then I'm going to repeat that at the top. Again, find the diagonal, doesn't matter how long these are, just going off to the distance, like so. So, get to that stage, check this, I need to draw this line here, goes all the way to the end. So, find the diagonal line, approximately here, and then do that again, about there. And then I'm going to do this line from here along there. So that's going to be here. Make sure as I do this, you uh, remember and then you repeat. And then finally, these teeth. Now, these look complicated, but actually, it's a very simple process of going down and then making V-shapes. So you need to go down two centimeters from, from here. So down two. And then I need a diagonal down. And then a diagonal back up, like so. And I'm going to go down two centimeters again, or 20 millimeters down, and then I'm going to repeat that diagonal down and then diagonal back up. And then the last thing I do is just another two centimeters down. Okay, that is quite a realistic replication of this joint on this isometric paper. Um, just to finish it. I would do some curvy lines to join these up, as if these just go on forever. Yeah? And to make it really clear that these are actually two separate bits of wood, I would get a pencil and then just shade in one side of it. I'm going to rush this so you don't get bored. Okay, and then I would need to carry on colouring this piece here. Okay? So, give it a go, and remember, stay on the uh, vertical and the diagonal lines, no horizontal. If you, make, if you make a mistake, well, it's best to do it lightly in pencil, and if you make any mistakes, you can rub them out. Okay, good luck.